Yesterday, coffee bags were brought from the Neknasi mill in Arab to Swire's coffee bulking facility. This morning, bean samples were collected by the CIC officers and checked for quality. Orange, pineapple, passion fruit. Rose Romalos, the senior quality officer and team members are doing crucial checks before the beans leave the shore. As per the green bean coffee, it's a PSC, it's good coffee. But in terms of the liquor assessment or the cup assessment, we will have to cup the coffee and tell the story. Orange citrus. Neknasi's coffee has very good aroma, texture and taste. Um, a lot of roasters or buyers um, overseas, they would love to also trace back where the coffee is being sourced from. So the only way um, to, to see the traceability um, more evident is by having cooperatives um, have that direct market link to to the you know to the overseas buyers. So uh. the coffee industry corporation has been very supportive. Neknasi is the first cooperative to start exporting using its reserved license. The shipment is expected uh, to get on board on the ninth of November. Uh, it has been booked on Kokopo Chief, boy, it's 1631. Uh, Neknasi is part of the national government's tree to cup policy that aims to involve local coffee farmers in small to medium enterprises. Papua New Guinea exports around a million bags of coffee per year. That number is expected to increase this year. For the 200 plus farmers involved in the Neknasi Coffee Growers Cooperative, the money will come directly from the buyer overseas and into their pockets. Though exporters were involved in the past, they can now export on their own. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Lay.